Um, I think our team played very well. I think we were able to execute, and um, I think we still played at a high level of basketball. So I'm very proud of what we did out there. You know, the transition, that's a, like a Largo trans, uh, tradition. Yeah. How do you feel that like you guys executed that today, and especially in that second quarter where you guys went in that 17-0 run? Um, I think that uh, our transition game is very well, it's very good. Um, I think that we're very in shape, so I think that we run a lot in practice. So I think that definitely helps translate to the game. And I think that we do a lot of drills that help us prepare us for transition in the game. Compared to last year's team, what are the, some of the differences compared to last year's championship team? Um, well, we graduated a lot of seniors last year, so we definitely have new leadership, new faces, new roles. You know, everybody's stepping into new, new and bigger roles this year. Um, I would say the main difference is bonding, gelling together. A lot of us haven't really played together, so having to come and unite as a team is definitely a difference. You guys got Gwen Park. The, the county's gotten much better as compared to last season. What do you need to do next week against Gwen Park? Um, I think we just need to lock in and focus and uh, get ready for this game. We have a couple practices before that game. So I think we all just need to, you know, practice individually and practice definitely as a team. And I think we definitely need to lock in and get mentally prepared for this game. Lastly, talking to Coach, she said, you know, she asked you to step up in the beginning of the season, asked you to step up due to injuries and with seniors leaving. How do you feel that you've stepped up and what kind of changes have you done to your game in order to lead this team to success? Um, I think I would say that I stepped in a pretty big way. Um, last year I played, you know, a good role in the championship team, but I know I knew that this year she'd want me to do more. So I think I've had to step up my offensive game as well as defense, you know, lead the team really on both ends, truly. Um, I would say what I do different is uh, work on different parts of my game, you know, not just driving, but, you know, my three-point shot, being able to pull up, as well as finding my teammates and really setting them up so they can get scoring opportunities. Getting into this game, it, it was basically a, a, a preparation game going into the game against Glen Park. We know that, you know, we were, I guess, athletically better than Fremont. So we wanted to go in and work on things that we would need to do against Glen Park. Speaking of Glen Park, how, much, where, how do you feel about the competition since compared to last year, since you guys won the championship last year, compared to now, them coming up and you guys, you know, missing some key players from last season? Well, I know going against Glen Park, you know, it's always going to be a dog fight. Um, they're very competitive, so we, we both have good teams all the time, and we know it's always going to come down to the wire. Um, being as though I don't have my same team from last year, it's always going to be a challenge just getting them prepared for you know, games like that. We all, I like playing against them because I know it's going to be a good game every time. Going into the season, we had a lot of, uh, of our starters that were injured. So Stephanie had to be a dominant figure on the floor. She didn't have much help. So we, we just told her that she has to be dominant. She has to, you know, control the game. And she has to, you know, be be the main go-to person. And she's, um, she's embraced that role. And, and she's excelled throughout the season. Talk about Ms. Reed, number one. Um, she excelled as well, especially when it came to transition. What did you think of her performance today and the season as a whole? Today, I think she had a great game. It was a great pick-me-up game for her because she's been kind of uh, slacking um, in some of the other games and hasn't been, I guess, herself. So today was a good game for her to get her confidence back going into a big game on Tuesday. In the second half, you guys were just moving the ball around more. Like you said, it was more of a pick-me-up game. What did you like and what did you see that – gave you confidence heading into the next game? Um, I like that they, they did execute our game plan. I told them, you know, in the second half, I wanted them to run some plays more. I wanted them to move around on offense some more, move the ball around. I wanted them to make two, I mean, three to four passes before they shot the ball in. And they did a good job executing with that.